Hey everybody, Darren Burrows here. Today I wanna to talk to you about how to retire early. This is a very popular topic, so you may have seen videos here on YouTube about how to retire by age 30. Maybe you've even heard about the FIRE method, which stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. But the thing is, because the topic is so popular, there's a lot of controversial information about this all over the internet. My goal for this video is to give you actionable advice, but to also debunk some retirement myths. I'll provide you a step-by-step -step guideline that will help you decide what you need to do because retirement means something different for all of us. The great thing is, is that since it's a guideline, you can customize this to your needs. For those of you new to me and my channel, I talk about three main subjects, real estate investing strategies, tips and techniques, financial freedom and renovation and construction. If you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. And without further ado, let's get into it. Let me start by getting one thing straight. Retiring early isn't easy. It can be simple if you follow a system and are determined, but it is not easy. Think about it, if it were easy, everyone would be doing it, but the reality is that most people who attempt it give up or fail. And there are essentially two reasons why people fail. They either have false expectations or they get bad advice. Let's talk about expectations first. Your retirement expectations will depend greatly on your lifestyle, your needs, if you have debt or not, and many other factors that are unique to you. If you wanna retire wealthy, you have to expect different things than if you wanna retire with just enough money to cover your expenses. Unfortunately, there is no one size fits all solution, and it also depends on what early means for you. Some people might wanna retire at age 30, while others wanna retire at age 50, but both call it early retirement. To me, the definition of retirement is when your passive income supports your lifestyle. So am I retired? Technically, yes, but it doesn't mean that I don't work. But there's a huge difference between wanting to retire at age 30 versus age 50 versus age 65. Each of these age targets requires a very different strategy. And that's exactly where mistake two comes into play, following bad advice. Most advice out there sounds like it's for everyone. People often give advice like the 4% rule, but they don't consider that the same advice doesn't work for everyone. And for those of you not familiar with the 4% rule, it simply states that you add up all of your investments and withdraw 4% of that total during your first year of retirement. And the subsequent years, you adjust the dollar amount you withdraw to account for inflation. By following this formula, you should have a very high probability of not outliving your money during a 30-year retirement according to the rule. For example, let's say your portfolio at retirement totals $1 million. You would withdraw $40,000 in your first year of retirement. If the cost of living rises 2% that year, you would give yourself a 2% raise the following year, withdrawing $40,800 and so on for the next 30 years. The 4% rule assumes you withdraw the same amount from your portfolio every year, adjusting for inflation. But you'll already see one major flaw with this rule. It's only for 30 years. If you retire at 30, you'll run out of money at 60. And right now the average life expectancy is around 80. So you'll be broke for the last 20 years of your life. So general rule of thumbs don't often work and that's why I wanna walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to retire early. That way you can assess where you are currently at and what you need to do next. So let's start with step number one, knowing your goals. For starters, you need to know why you wanna retire early and what you want your lifestyle to look like. Do you wanna to retire to have more time for yourself, to travel, to pursue a passion project, or maybe you just wanna make your own schedule? All of those reasons are valid, but what's really important is that you know your reasons. Your lifestyle choices also matter. If you just wanna retire from working, but you're okay with living below your means, then you'll need less money. If you wanna live a comfortable or extravagant lifestyle, then you'll obviously need more. For this step, it's important to get crystal clear on when you actually want to retire. It's a good idea to calculate what your yearly expenses will look like, and the more accurate you can calculate, the more accurate you can plan for early retirement. If you need help with a first step in calculating what you need to do with your money, check out this video right here. Step two to retiring early is determining how much of your income you can save. Some advisors recommend that you save 50 to 70% of your income, but to do that, you'll need to live extremely frugal and it will likely be really painful. I'm also a big believer that you can't save your way to wealth. You can save your way to retirement, but I don't know of anyone who's been able to save their way to being wealthy. So again, you'll need to make that distinction. If you're willing to endure the dedication it takes to save 50 to 70% of your income, then you'll be able to retire much earlier, but you can only decide if the short-term sacrifices you'll need to make will be worth it later on. And people who follow this method usually aim to save 30 times their annual expenses. This means if a person needs $40,000 a year, that person would need to save $1.2 million to comfortably retire. 
But again, that's assuming a 30 year retirement window. But what if saving 50 to 70% of your income is simply not possible? You might have to lower your expectations as you maybe can't retire by the age of 30, and that's okay. Set a saving goal that makes sense to you. Maybe it's 10%, 15%, or 25%. Starting to cut back on unnecessary spending is a great way to get started, and then coming up with a plan on where and what you'll do with those savings is next. Step three to early retirement is planning out your investments. You don't wanna save money just for the sake of saving money. You wanna save money and use it for your investments. The three most profitable types of investments are stocks, real estate, and businesses. Notice I didn't say anything about RRSPs or mutual funds. And for the sake of this video, let's focus on stocks and real estate to keep it simple. The stock market is probably the most popular choice for people who are trying to retire early, but stay with me because in a moment, I'll reveal why real estate might be a better idea for some of you. But let's look at stocks first. With stocks, my suggestion if you're just getting started is to put your money into an index fund. Index funds are great because you don't need to pick the stocks yourself and you don't need to try to beat the market. If you're not familiar with what an index fund is, an index fund is a portfolio of stocks or bonds designed to mimic the composition and performance of a financial market index. Index funds have lower expenses and fees than actively managed funds and index funds follow a passive investment strategy. Index funds also seek to match the risk and return of the market on the theory that in the long term, the market will outperform any single investment. In the past decades, for instance, index funds have produced stable returns of 8 to 10%. So putting your money into an index fund and watching it grow over the long term has been a proven strategy. For those of you wanting to invest in individual stocks, I suggest setting up a low fee self-managed trading account and picking stocks of companies that have good fundamentals and long-term proven track records. You may also want to consider investing in stocks that pay dividends as those dividends can provide passive income or can be rolled over into your investment portfolio. As I mentioned earlier, stocks are not the only option. For anyone who wants to retire faster or live less frugal, real estate might be a better idea. While real estate has a bigger barrier of entry, you get to use one of my favorite words in the English language with real estate, leverage. This means it might take you a little bit longer to get started, but once you're in, you can generate wealth faster than in the money markets if you know what you're doing. Let's look at a simple example of how leverage can work. Let's say you have $100,000 ready to invest. You can either put it into stocks or you can use it to invest in real estate. Let's say your stocks gave you an average return of 10%, meaning that next year you'd have an additional $10,000 from your $100,000 investment. And here's where it gets crazy. If you put the same $100,000 into the real estate market, you can actually use it to buy $100,000 worth of investment real estate, assuming you can qualify for a mortgage. And if your property value goes up by 10%, you get an additional $50,000. Real estate has what we call the five times multiplier. You get five times the return in real estate with the same amount of capital. The average return of investment real estate is also higher than with stocks. Why? Because with investment real estate, meaning a property that we can rent out, we can make money in four different ways. We can make money on cash flow, mortgage pay down, market appreciation, and forced appreciation. Even if your property is cash flow neutral, which means that the revenue covers all of your expenses, if your property value climbs by 3%, between market appreciation and mortgage pay down, you'll make 15% annual return on your investment. And with a 15% return, you double your money every five years. If your stocks are making an 8% average return, it takes twice as long to double your money. And step four for retiring early is prepare for the unknown, which is the definition of an oxymoron. As I said before, retiring early isn't easy. That's mainly because there are so many unknown variables. How well will your investments do? How high will inflation be? How long will you live? When it comes to these factors, planning 30 or 40 years ahead is really hard. Common retirement plans and strategies are made for a retirement that lasts about 20 years. So you retire at age 65 and you live until you're 85. We can't apply the same strategies to a 50 year long retirement. And what's more, there are simply things we can't predict. One of the best examples of unforeseen events is the current pandemic. Few would have been able to predict that and people who always expect things to be as they are now can run into some serious financial problems. Now, I'm not saying this to discourage you. I'm saying this to remind you that you wanna think things through and start taking action to control your future and not rely on others who may not have your best interest in mind. Here's the good news. I started investing in real estate at 25 years old and I really had no idea what I was doing. I've made a lot of mistakes along the way and I'm happy to tell you that I was able to retire two years ago. Having said that, I could have expedited my retirement goals a lot faster with the resources that are available today. So take advantage of all the information that is out there and take action now. Get clear on what you want, cut out unnecessary spending, 
choose a proven long-term investment strategy and be ready to make changes to your plans when things inevitably take a turn. Oh, and one more thing, hit the like button below to help the YouTube algorithm put this video in front of the right people. If you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave comments below. I'd love to hear what age you would like to retire at and what's your plan to achieve that. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenvoros.com. With that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey, and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon.